Here we go. Whoop. Now you guys can see the actual team. We've got 257 people that have joined the team. Nice. By the way, this will use your computer's processing power. So when it opens the page, you need to keep it keep that page open. So you can end the thing instead of having to go to your task manager. Don't be an idiot and end up someone else's slave in a botnet. You've never heard it folding at home, have you? No, no one's making you as part of a botnet, you absolute jackass. You should probably look into this before you start spouting nonsense. Folding at home. Folding at home is a long-standing thing, just like SETI is. And the way that it works is you use excess processing power to solve problems to try and forward medical science. This has been around for a very, very long period of time. You can go and look up folding at home yourself. You can see that Linus Tech Tips is actually ranked three in the world. Their team is, and ours is in the top 3,000. So... What you're doing when you're doing this is you're putting excess processing power from your computer, and it's best to do it when the machine is idle. If for whatever reason you're not actually using the machine at the time, that's when you run this kind of stuff. There's no one being added to a botnet. How much more power is it using? Oh, it'll use 100% of your CPU if you let it. All right, there we go. So when you run it, when you run it, it just kind of opens this up, and it'll show you like what projects we work on, what the stats of everything are, like all the contributions for everything that we're running. Uh, the news for what's happening here of like how this has all been used and like all the statistics for everything that's going on. They're doing single molecules. So they got connecting with single molecule experiments, which is kind of cool. I don't actually know what those are doing. But then we can go over to machines and we could say exactly how much information is going through. So if I want to go and edit on this, we can say how many CPUs I'm going to use. So I can set this to one and then I can set this off because we're streaming right now. And we'll go and try and do this, I guess, only when idle, you know, while on battery. We can turn that off. Keep awake. We can keep that on. We can hit save on this. There's a couple other projects that I have set up on here that I need to delete before I do that. Let's trash that one. Okay. And we're going to trash that one. We're going to trash that one. We're going to trash all the ones that I had running before. Stop it at once. And I will create a new one. And we'll say... That. We can cancel that out. No work units, one CPU, and we'll start that project. So now it'll start using part of my CPU to start doing stuff. Looks like it's not using very much right now, which is good. I think we can turn off only when idle and save that. There we go. Now it's downloading work. It's going to start doing it. It's using about 7% of my CPU. And that's it. Because it's just using one core. And it's running it. Actually, it's using about 4.5% of my CPU. And that's all. Yeah, running it off on the side. But yeah, so that's our team. I'm running this in the background. That's the whole deal.